Welcome back in everyone for this week's climate close up with a state climatologist Justin Glisson. Justin, thank you again for joining us here. Hope you're staying cool there in Des Moines. How are you doing? Oh, it, it feels like a swamp here in Des Moines, but we're, we're trying to stay cool. So how are you? Yeah, about the same here uh, in eastern Iowa. Definitely warm for us. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about that. This uh, heat dome, you know, we heard a couple maybe national stories talking about that. We've talked about it a little bit ourselves as meteorologists. What exactly is that uh, heat dome? What uh, causes that to stay in place for us here and create situations like this? Yep, so we, we think about large scale features in the atmosphere <clears throat> on the planetary scale. A large scale thermal ridge has set up over the East Coast and it's basically a blocking high pressure system that what it, it sounds like what it is. It blocks all the westerly flow across the United States and we get stuck in a stagnant pattern. Now we've seen unsettled weather, weather. we have precipitation chances all next week and into this week as well, uh, but it's where we start to see uh, record-breaking heat set up on the east coast and then those warmer temperatures that we're seeing here in the midwest can you talk a little bit more about the thermodynamics of how exactly that happens you know our our place here in the midwest that gives us lots of different weather we talk about that from things like severe weather and how we get to tornadoes and stuff but how does that to you know create that heat dome based on everything that's happening around us yeah great question so you have two features with this high pressure system one, it's a, a anti-cyclonic flow or clockwise flow. So you have return flow from the southern parts of the United States and the tropics where you're amping up the moisture, but also the heat that we're seeing. Number two, in a high pressure system, air is descending. So it's moving towards the surface, higher pressure at the surface as well. You're getting compressional heating. So two features that are amping up those temperatures. And if that block doesn't move on, that's where we see the persistent heat that we're seeing on the East Coast, but also getting into the Midwest as well. Wonderful explanation. So a lot of times what we see with situations like this is we get these really hot, dry days like we're having right now, and then we start to set up with those chances for showers and thunderstorms, something that we're looking at here already tonight and moving forward here through the rest of the week. But they're not continuous. They're not maybe our, our typical kind of thunderstorm setups with the th cold fronts moving through. What is that? What causes that? So we have this configuration called the ring of fire, and that's where you have this, this high pressure dome set up. And then you have what are called ridge riders or disturbances that move along the interface between the high and low pressure, uh, basically troughs and ridges in the large scale atmosphere. And that's where you can see these systems moving through Iowa and across the upper Midwest. So we call it the ring of fire because you have amped up temperatures, but along the ridge or along that ring, you see higher precipitation chances, and that's what we're we're currently uh, set into. Awesome. Well, wonderful uh, information. Thank you as always, Justin. And uh, we'll talk about those chances for thunderstorms here moving forward for our week in Eastern Iowa coming up in just a few.